So having acne just sucks, period. Now the main culprits of acne are usually hormones and genetics. However, there are a few things that you could be doing that is triggering your breakouts and you don't even know about it. So for example, you're not washing your pillow sheets. Your pillow sheets are a nest for bacteria, dirt, oils, and sweat just from using it daily. So I recommend you wash your pillow sheets at least once a week. You're placing your face on this every night, which could be causing some breakouts. Another thing you could be doing is touching your face constantly. Again, we do this without even noticing it, but keep in mind, your hands are really dirty. They have a lot of bacteria, a lot of germs, a lot of dirt from constantly touching things around you, your phone and other things. And then all of a sudden, we rest our faces on our hands or we just constantly touch our face with our dirty hands. This could be transferring all that bacteria and causing some breakouts. So I know you're watching this video for one main purpose. You most likely just want to get rid of bacteria and get it over with. So doing these tips are gonna definitely help, but I also help you treat your acne at the same time to kind of speed up the process. Definitely check out this really cool product by Tria called the Positively Clear Blue Light Treatment. This is unlike anything else you've seen in the market before since it uses a blue light to penetrate the skin and kill the bacteria underneath before the acne occurs. And using it is super simple. First, you wanna prep your face with the included foaming cleanser. So like just like any other cleanser, you're gonna wash your face. What this is gonna do is wash away any dirt, oils, dead skin that might be building up on your face. And now you're ready for the blue light tool. Using a non-UV high energy light source, the FDA cleared positively clear acne clearing blue light device treats mild to moderate inflammatory acne by penetrating deep into your skin to kill that acne causing bacteria. You will feel it working as it warms up when you place the tool against your skin, clearing your skin and killing bacteria. Once you're done clearing your whole face and treating it, you're done for the final step, which is a spot treatment cream that they also include as part of the kit. And what this is for is for those specific problem areas where a lot of acne is growing. You can use this spot treatment cream afterwards. What this is gonna do is it's gonna soothe your skin since it's infused with antioxidants and also help clarify those target areas. So if you guys are interested in trying this awesome kit to try to fight off bacteria, I'm gonna have it linked below. It's really unlike anything else that I've personally seen. And honestly, it's really awesome. The third thing you could be doing that's causing your breakouts is not showering immediately after a workout. You see, when you work out, your body increases oil production as you're sweating. So the mixture of oiliness and the germs and bacteria found at the gym could be causing your breakout. So a tip is to immediately shower after the gym and use some sort of antibacterial soap to prevent that. A fourth thing you could be doing is overwashing. You see, when you get a breakout, it happens to most of us, you start washing and constantly washing your face, hoping that you'll clear faster. But what happens is that could be damaging and drying out your skin, which then your skin will start producing more oil. And then you see it's a cyclical effect. So only stick to two times a day and don't increase your washing of the face just because you have a breakout. A fifth thing is something called friction acne and something most people don't know. Some people get severe acne breakouts on their back and on their butt. And usually it's from friction from very tight clothing and the sweat production that occurs because of it. Usually this is gym clothing like leggings and stuff like that since it's compressed against the skin and on top of that you're sweating. So don't make a habit of lounging around in your sweaty gym clothes. Make sure that as soon as you're done you take them off and throw on some fresh rags. Number six and something a lot of people don't know is that you're probably treating your acne with the wrong products. If you're tired of constantly using products and it seems like nothing is working, it could be that you're not using the right one for your skin. You see, there's six different types of skin. You have normal skin, you have combination, dry, oily, and sensitive. Those are the five different skin types. So make sure that the products that you buy address your specific skin type. This will increase your chances of it being effective. Number seven is popping your zits with your dirty hands. So most of us have a habit or an urge to pop zits. But the problem is if you do it without washing your hands before, your hands are filled with bacteria, with germs, with dirt, and when you pop a zit, that's an open wound. You could be potentially reinfecting that area and just making the matter worse. Number eight is your hair. So if you have long hair or some sort of hairstyle where it falls on your face like a fringe cut, your oily hair that's filled with hairstyling products could be clogging your pores. 
an easy fix would be to obviously adapt a shorter hairstyle or pick a hairstyle where the hair is kept away from the face. Also, when you sleep, try to not sleep with your hair on your face. Number nine, this is another counterintuitive thing and it's not using moisturizer. A lot of people skip on moisturizer, especially if you have an oily skin complexion because they think it's gonna make their skin more oily. But in fact, moisturizer is something that everybody needs to hydrate their skin. And for people with oily skin, when they don't moisturize, their skin, to avoid it being dry, produces more oil. Again, it's counterintuitive. So make sure you apply moisturizer. And finally, number 10, this is for people that wear glasses and it's when you wear glasses all the time. Your frames are perfect to be holding sweat oil, dead skin cells underneath, which could make that area around your frames, and I'm sure you've noticed that before, super oily, which then of course can cause acne. There, make sure you clean the frames and make sure you wash your face. This will avoid any oil buildup. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video of 10 things you could be doing that you don't even know could be triggering your acne breakouts. So if you liked this video and found it helpful, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out that positively clear blue light. It's something that's completely different and that I've personally never seen in the market before, and it could just work for you. So I'm gonna have it linked below so you guys can check it out. So that's it for me in today's video. See you next time.